Hey guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing this sort of uh, puppet doll look with a, with a springy neck. Before we go any further, if you guys do enjoy this video and find it helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the little icon right down here. Once you do subscribe to my channel, be sure to hit the bell right next to the button so that you can be notified every single time I upload a video. Just as a reminder, I did post a giveaway video last week that is still open. We still have like another week and a half before it closes. So if you guys want to be entered to win two Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes, please go back to my last video and I'll link it in the description box below and just uh, follow the rules to enter. If you guys are interested in doing this look for Halloween, I would highly suggest having a maybe like a long black wig to wear, like down. I have pigtails because I thought it was like doll-like. The only way this illusion can last is if there's like a black background behind you. So since you can't walk around with this behind you at all times, if you have a black wig that goes right behind your neck, it can blend back into your black hair and um, I think it will still create that illusion. So if you guys want to see how to recreate this look, please keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to do, like I do in almost all of my character videos, is glue my eyebrows down. Uh, since I do do this in almost every one of my character videos, I'm just going to fast forward this part. If you are curious on how I- why are you saying curious? If you're curious on how I do this, you can just click on one of my other videos. I do a tutorial in almost all of them. Alright, now that my eyebrows are glued down, what I want to do next, I want the face to look like wood. So I'm going to be taking this Wet n Wild brown pencil and I'm just going to be going all over my face and drawing like a wood grain pattern. So this part is kind of hard to screw up because wood can look a lot of different ways. So just really draw the pattern that you feel like you want to draw. It's really just like some lines and um, a lot of the patterns of the grains, it looks like they're like kind of triangles stacked within each other. But you just kind of do what you like. I definitely want to do more to it, but it's just a rough start. Um, the next thing I want to do is kind of carve out my cheekbones. I want this puppet to have very, very defined cheekbones. So I'm going back in with my brown pencil and going right along my natural cheekbone. When I get down here, I'm really just rounding it out. Okay, I have my cheekbones carved out. The next thing I want to do is work on my nose, make it look very like uh, rigid and stiff. So I'm taking this, it's going to be like kind of contouring, but a very severe looking contour. Just taking the pencil right down the side of my nose here. And I'm having it curve up here and kind of go out like this. And we want these to be kind of like deep hollows. So I'm just curving it out. I'm going to start creating some shadows and some dimension on the grain marks and also the chiseled cheeks. I'm going in my Candy Johnson palette and I'm going to get the pastry color in here. I'm going to start using this to chisel out my cheekbones. So I'm just going to keep working at this until it's nice and blended into my skin. Okay, I'm also taking a small dome brush in that same pastry color and I'm going to start going over the lines of the grains just to give them some shadow and some dimension, make them look more realistic. So I'm going back in my um, Candy Johnson palette in a fluffy brush and going into that taupe berry. And I'm running this all along the side of my nose here to really cut it out and make it look sharp. Okay, so I have the shadows done on the sides of my nose. Um, the thing with this kind of look is you just want to make all of the lines look very 
straight and uh, prominent. So I also had the dark line coming up above my eyebrow here because I'm kind of extending my brow bone. So what I want to do is take that same taupe color on my fluffy brush and just blend underneath that line to make it look like it's sinking in under my eyes. So I'm going to take a break from the skin for a second and focus on my eyes. For that I'm taking my NYX Jumbo Stick Pencil in Milk and I'm going to take this right under my eyes in kind of like a crescent shape or a half circle and this is going to just make them look more big and doll-like. Alright, so I just took a small dome brush and went under that white with the taupe color and now I'm going to take the fluffy end of this brush, go in with that taupe color and kind of uh, deepen up my crease above my eye and I want to make my crease pretty high so I'm starting here and I'm blending it up into that shadow I have that I blended down from this kind of half circle above my eyebrow if that makes any sense so I finished shading the crease here as you can see I have a kind of like a harsh lines right here I was trying to create a higher crease than my natural one um, so the next thing I'm going to do is take some liquid liner, I just have some e.l.f. liquid liner here. And I'm going to draw a winged eyeliner and I'm just going to make it look pretty dramatic since we are not human. So now I'm just going to use this liquid liner to extend the wing down underneath my eye to create a new lower lid. Alright, moving back to the face, I want to work on the grains a little bit more. We have the shadows of all the different lines, but I also want to add some highlights. So for that I'm going to be using my Jumbo Stick again in Milk, and just going in between the lines here and there, and just adding a little bit of brightness. I'm not doing it in between every line, but just here and there to give it some dimension. Alright, the next thing I want to do... The next thing I want to do is add even more dimension. I'm taking my bronzer that is sadly almost gone and I'm just going to do some like subtle brontouring around my face. So I have the shadows around my face. I just did some subtle, I don't know if it's subtle, it's probably not. Um, I just did some contouring around my face. I'm going to add a little bit of blush on this just like right on the apples of the cheeks. I'm also gonna use my e.l.f. liner to draw some lashes on the bottom eyelid here. And I'm also gonna use this to add those two lines down the sides of my mouth to make it look like, like the mouth is disconnected and it's like a puppet. You know what I'm saying. And I'm also going to use the liquid liner to draw some eyebrows. So since it's a puppet or a doll, whatever, I want the eyebrows to be like really high and expressive. So I'm going to have the eyebrow right here, just like a half circle. I also feel like I want to darken up the hollows of my eyebrow or the, uh, the brow bone here. So I'm just going to use a fluffy brush and some darker brown powder and just darken this up to give it more dimension. Okay. All right, so I darkened up those shadows um, around my eyes and also around my nose just to give it more, I keep saying dimension, give everything dimension. I also want to give her a couple freckles. So I'm going to do that with my liquid liner. Okie dokie then. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is the lips. And I'm just gonna get a basic red lipstick and outline my lips. Probably going to um, overdraw them just a little bit just because it is a puppet or a doll, whatever you wanna call it. And I uh, want it to look a little bit animated. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of water activated paint here. Just wanna make like a little highlight on my lip. 
I just have some natural lashes from Ardell. They're not very natural though. Pretty sure this is mispackaged because they look like the glamour ones. But I'm just gonna pop them on really quick and I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the last thing I think I wanna do for the face part is just add like a little crack with a, a little piece of my face missing. So I just have a black liner from Le Revlon. It's just a soft gel liner. And I'm just gonna draw a little shape here on my forehead to start. It's hard to explain, so I'll just draw it first and then show you. So I'm just gonna fill in this little shape black. But basically I just want from each point, I want to get like a crack going out. And I just want to get a liquid liner though and make those lines more defined. The face took pretty long. I mean that that crack took longer than I thought it was going to take. I probably wouldn't do it if I knew it was going to be that long. Um, but as you can see, the, the shape of it kind of changed. I didn't want it to be as big as I originally drew it. So I just added some concealer and shaped it and formed it to the way that I wanted it to look. But um, I do think it adds some character to the face, but I don't know if it was worth the time. But anyway, the last thing I want to do is I want to make... You guys know that I love doing the neck illusions, so I want to block out my neck and make it look like my neck is just like a spring. Okay, so the first thing I want to draw is the spring, and I want it to be rather big here, so I'm going to start from my neck, or my chin I should say, come down, I'm going to start right here. And just make this wide spring. So I'm going to draw a second line to it. I have my spring here and it kind of look like, looks like a tube right now. I have two sides to it. So I'm going to get my white paint here. Okay, I have the basic shape of my spring. I'm going to paint the negative space of my neck black and then I'll do some more detailing work on the actual spring. Okay, so I have everything painted black and my spring is white. The last thing I want to just do is shade some of the spring so it can look like, you know, these back ones are set back a little bit to give it, again, some dimension. So these front ones are going to be light white and the back ones I'm going to shade a little bit more gray. Okay guys, so I went a little overboard and did like wood detailing on my chest. It's like almost midnight and I feel delirious. Okay guys, so that is it. That is my um, puppet springy doll look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this. Again, if you did enjoy it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. As always, if you have any requests for anything beauty related or any Halloween looks or characters you'd like me to recreate, please leave your suggestions down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching guys. See ya!